Starting off with likely bans if hit. Infernoble. I don't think he's going to get hit, but if you had to hit this deck and you are playing this deck and you're worried about it getting hit, what could actually get hit here? This is kind of ridiculous, but uh, I think I sold is a likely hit if the deck were to get hit. Yeah, I think so. So I sold would be here, likely bans if hit. Why is that likely? Well, we know that the card is banned in TCG and they do like to copy the homework of TCG sometimes and then, you know, apply that to Master Duel. Are there any other unlikely bans uh, uh, hits if they were this were to get further hit? I don't think so. I think that the, that is the likely one if the deck were to get hit. Let's switch on over to Monadium. If Monadium were to get hit, I don't think it will. I do not think so whatsoever. I mean, this is a tough one. Uh, you, you can't even like limit one to Amritira. The Asher Loud stays. Crimson is perfectly fine. I, I feel like this is just a super balanced deck, right? How can you even hit this? I, I feel like I, I can't touch this deck at all. Besides maybe, uh, you know, Collateral, the Cash Tira Unicorn is something as we see it being uh, limited one here in OCG. I do think that the Unicorn could get limited. Benrears are also already banned in OCG. So what I will do is likely if hit, it would be the Unicorn. So if they're looking to hit something from Cash Tira since it's being splashed in multiple decks, I think this being limited one is likely if they do look at hitting something with Cash Tira. Now, unless likely, but it could happen, is Fenrir being banned. So I definitely rate the Unicorn more likely to be hit over Fenrir. So I, I do want to have that distinction that, that this is less likely, but could happen. So there you go. Okay, so so far I sold and Unicorn are likely only if they get hit, but would these actually make it onto my actual prediction? We'll look at that at the end. So now, uh, pretty much done with Monadium there. Looking at Vanquish Soul. If the deck were to get hit, I think Borger's the card they hit. That's the one. They hit that card to one. Borger opening up with this, being able to draw a card every turn is nuts. Not having to inflict lethal damage. The deck only has to deal 5,000 damage to you. Then they burn you a Borger on their turn, then your turn, and that's game over. So Borger, really nasty. A card that they should be committing to searching and not just opening it up. And also would make the deck more susceptible to Impermanence, Invaler. It's likely if it were to get hit, that would be the card. But I don't know if it would be on my actual banless prediction. We will again address that later. And uh, I don't think we really have to put anything under the unlikely. I think that is the main card if they were to get hit. In. Now, Mathmac. They already put the diameter to one, which was completely unheard of. Parallel Xyz. Semi-limited. <laughs> what the heck? Cyanet Mining. And apparently this was not enough, surprisingly, to everyone's surprise that this was not enough to stop Mathmech from doing well in the game. Because the main thing stopping the deck, I believe, is Bestials. And Bestials are not that popular right now. So if they were to hit the deck, not saying I think they will, but if they were to hit it, the card that's on everyone's mind is Circular. I think it is likely that if the deck were to get hit, Circular would go to one. It's kind of obvious also because the OCG has it at one. It would then kind of suck to leave the other card still being hit. I don't think they've ever unhit and hit at the same time for the same deck. So yeah, that would be totally uncool to then limit this and then leave these also hit. So Circular, definitely there. It is there. Now, uh, on, on less likely hits if hit uh, this, this is the category where parallel Xyz and diameter were hit is there any like unlikely hits here anything that's unlikely that they would just smack for no reason defense would be way too weird uh the parallel Xyz is kind of a small world hit <coughs> i don't think so I, I think everything else is pretty fair here well it's konami so super factorial to one yep definitely that's what they would do next up Cash Tira. Shifter. Further hitting the Shifter if they were to further hit this deck. We already said that Unicorn, a likely hit of this going to one. The Fenrir, less likely 
being banned if it were to be hit. Um, the birth was kind of surprising as that card's unlimited in TCG and OCG, so that is something. But further hitting the shifter as we are playing in a best of one. Now, I don't know if I'll be putting this on my actual prediction, but let's put the shifter there. That's something that would likely be hit if hit. We have I sold, we have these so far. And, you know, having Borger here is kind of interesting because every other card's been hit by another ban list in some way besides Borger. But I still feel like that's the likely hit if that were to be hit. Now, super heavy. This will be hitting the likely and the unlikely. The likely hits, I'm actually going to put multiple cards here. For likely hits, further hitting the Soul Piercer to one, I think that is something that they would do. Piercer to one. And another likely hit would be the motorbike. Uh, hitting consistency. I know a lot of people disagree with, disagree with semi-limiting cards, but uh, lessening the one card openers, I think that's something that they would be doing here. I think when we get to Snake Eyes, they will also be on the likely and unlikely. What I think is unlikely of Samurai that would get hit, but could happen, is the Scarecrow. I don't see it happening, but, you know, it is banned in TCG. It could possibly happen. I wouldn't be surprised, but I definitely would not predict it. So, you know, these are not surprised, but, uh, you know, it could happen if it were to happen. Okay, okay. Uh, anything else that's super heavy? No, no, I think, I think it's fine from there, right? Let's keep on going. Tier limit. <laughs> this will be an interesting one. If they were to look at tier limit, I think, and there were other decks we were talking about where this is a little different here, I think it's likely that they could unban Merle. That's something. I think that Merle could get unbanned, but it would be a trade-off. I think Merle getting unbanned would then ban Kit Kalos. Are you willing to make that trade? Right now, the ceiling of tier limit is two fusion summons, and they're pretty much done. But now they have the other cards that are making even more plays with it. I think that putting it at three, and then you ban the kick cow. If we were to look at TCG, how good the deck is with that exact scenario, let's check it out. Let's go to Yu-Gi-Oh! Meta.com. Let's look on the tier list here. And I do believe we're gonna see some tier limit on here. So tier limit is here. It's not the best deck, but it's doing something down here. If we look at the tier limit deck type, this is with Kick Cow being banned, and they have the Havnis, Merle, and Sharon all limited to one here with Kick Cow banned. They do have a, okay, a lot of them are playing totally awesome for with the Bahamut Shark. That's interesting. Yeah, look at that. Lots of tops. Uh, first place of uh, the YCS Remote Duel. What? I, I don't remember that happening. That's crazy. Also topped in addition to it. The Horus engine is also supporting the deck. So with Horus coming out maybe soon, uh, which is something I'll actually be leaking on this stream, but not within this video, that could further support this deck and further uh, help that theory of maybe unbanning Merle, but then banning Kit Kalos. That would be very interesting. Okay, what about OCG? OCG is, I believe, the same situation. Yup, Kit Cal is banned, and they have all of the girls, triple girls, and uh, it's putting in some work. Well, actually not so much. These are older deck lists where the Millers are banned, and uh, I guess they're comboing up with Snake Eyes and not Horus, and uh, yeah, the deck doesn't really exist in OCG because of Maxi, I'd assume, right? So Maxi's holding down tier limit, even more reason to see that this is something that they could do. In TCG, the deck's good, but they don't have Maxi. We have Maxi, so they could unlimit Merle because Maxi will keep the deck in check, right? You promise, tier limit players, you're not gonna do anything crazy. But there's something else that could happen here. Fairy Tail Snow, I feel, is unlikely if it were to be hit. If it were to be hit, I would actually be quite surprised this is something that I think Konami thinks is fine where Maxi exists. It exists, it's fine, I'm, and I'm gonna skip ahead and actually add Grass here also. I don't think Grass would be hit. These are less likely hits if hit. Grass looking green, that could get banned, but you, it's already at two in OCG. I think there's a lot of weird theories with TCG that 
The grass looks greener was causing a lot of duels to go into overtime and a, a huge headache for the judges to try to rewind game states and repair them if anything bad were to happen. So just removing this made tournaments just easier to end them before the renting of the venue happens. All right. So I think that's it for Tier Lament. Let's move on to the other deck. Branded. Can we really further hit Branded? Verte Anaconda is something I am looking at, and I'm not going to put Verte Anaconda, even though it's banned in OCG and banned in TCG, I'm going to put it under less likely hit if hit, but not likely. Not likely if they were to look at a, a, a deck that uses it. Because the next deck beyond Brandon Despia, as you can see here, it's Heroes. Is Konami really looking at Heroes uh, using Anaconda? No, it would really just be Brandon Despia, the one that is making this as good as, as it is right now to even be discussing it. So if they're looking at, Ant at Despia to further hit something, this would be a less likely hit. Can they really further hit this deck? This could be a controversial one, but... I feel like there's one card that stands out so much in tournaments that just dominates. It confuses everyone, it, it wins the games, It that card is. It's gonna be a less likely hit. It would be a branded loss banned. <laughs> there's no way, I'm not saying this is gonna happen, but uh, Konami's crazy. Konami's out of their damn mind. And if they're that crazy, they may get desperate. Otherwise, I think the likely hit, a boring one, would be Alubur. And a uh, reminder, we are going to be doing a full prediction, uh, combining our likely and less likelies. So Alubur to one, kind of boring, but that's something that they could likely do. Just up further after the opening went to one, uh, that was a boring hit. They did it recently. They put the Bestial Serenir near to one. Alubur would be up next and then less likely lost. Uh, that, that, that's funny, that's funny. Uh, deployment is actually something that people were talking about. I would put deployment, something that could get hit, but under less likely. Deployment is more likely than branded loss, I'd say. And is there collateral damage with hitting the deployment? I really don't think they should do this. It's all uh, blue eyes. Uh, most used in blue eyes after branded tier limit and despia. Okay, interesting. You think Gimmick Puppet, the reason why I don't think Gimmick Puppet would be banned is because it, it, we can argue that it's one of the best cards to summon, yes, to then lock the opponent out of further special summoning, but it would just get replaced. And it's actually just not that prevalent. I, I don't think that this has really been running amok that much. Is The last time any of you have played against a branded player, did they even attempt to summon this? It's not, I don't think it's really a big deal. It's it's toxic. It's not good for the game. I don't think this card should exist. If I were to make my own card game, something like this just would not happen. Now, moving on to Labyrinth. This is something that I think will actually hit my banlist prediction of something that we could see on the banlist this week. I, I think this deck is actually there for getting hit. So that likely hit is... Big welcome, at least to two. Big welcome to two. It is already at two in OCG. In TCG, the deck is fully unlimited. They have all of the furniture cards. They have all the big welcomes. They have everything they want and need. But the deck is not that good. It's not that top tier in TCG as it was in OCG. It dominated, I think, all of October within OCG. And then that's when they announced a ban list to semi-limit the big welcome. So that does reduce, that does actually reduce the ceiling. Uh, it, it's kind of similar to limiting, I should say banning a tier limit where you could fuse three times a turn, you have the fuel of three big welcomes within one game because you're continually banishing them to spin cards in the field back and then having another one to set, that's an important thing. It's very important for the grind game and also the consistency a little bit to have three copies of big welcome. Would anything else get hit here? Kit Cal, <laughs> not everyone's playing Kit 37%, but if we switch to tournaments only, it's a different picture. There are a lot more people, more than half of them playing Kit Kalos to get it in the graveyard, to activate to mill five, 
to mill transaction rollback, to mill big welcomes, mill the chandelier in Stovey, mill the regular welcome labyrinth. All these cards that trigger in the graveyard, even maybe getting something that you want to reborn, uh, you know, Ku Clock also triggers in the grave. Something that you may want to reborn with the Muckraker could be good. So that's something. Okay, not that you can muckraker after using a dear servant, but also dogmatic of punishment is another way to get the kick cow in the grave to mill five. So that would be something. Skill drain's unlikely, but it's something that I would like to see get banned. I, I would love for it to get banned. It should not exist. It's not cool. It, it hurts me to say that it's less likely, but there's a chance. There is a chance. There's hope. So we have down here, this is the less likely plus the likely hits, and uh, I sold down there. Now, moving on from Labyrinth, what else is there? We have Snake Eye. Oh boy, what will... I, I think we have a few things that could happen here. We have some unlikelies, we have multiple unlikelies, we have multiple likelies, and I think we only have one thing that would, uh, multiple things, or at least one, would be on the likely banless prediction. So let's get that started. Let's start off with the first card, Ash. Ash going to one, it, it just can't. It can't go to one because it's still in the shop, but if it were to get hit, but which it can't get hit by this banless, so I do wanna make that clear. This can't get hit. It would break a precedent. It has never happened where a card still in the shop gets hit. So if you could see the pack is not in red, if you highlight it. If the card is no longer in the shop then, and it's only a pullable from the master pack or craftable, then the pack would turn red. So that's a good way to know that your deck is safe until the next month's ban list. So I guess this is a prediction for next month and we'll revisit that with another ban list prediction. Ash to one. I think Ash to one. It, it did go to two in OCG. I think it would go to one. That would be likely for Master Duel. What else? The Wanted Seeker is another card that can't get hit. It can't get hit. It would be uh, the Wanted. I, I guess, you know, keeping three Diablo Star, they did give the card an animation. I don't know if we should be factoring that into our decisions. Also it being an ultra rare. And, you know, this card is an ultra rare also. So I feel like they pre-planned that they did not want to hit this. So I'm actually going to put this under the less likely, but could get hit. Out to out of you know something like Diablo Star, I wouldn't put Diablo Star anywhere here. I think Diablo Star will stay. What else? We keep on going. I don't think Poplar is likely or even unlikely to get hit. It's just not going to. I think Sprite Elf is not likely but unlikely. I, I maybe some people don't like to hear that. Elf. It's good. It's not the best. It's banned in TCG and OCG. I think it's a design headache every time they want to have to do anything with uh, level two, rank two, any two, this is a problem. Okay, what else? Now, things are gonna get weird here. Unlikely is Jet Synchron. And the reason why is we have to hit this deck this week, right? I, I think we have to, but we can't. So if we have to hit it, but we can't hit it, we have to look for cards that we could hit. And if we just go down the line, we can, we're not gonna hit Max C for Snake Eye. We can't hit, can't hit, can't touch any of these cards. We're not gonna touch Ash, we're not gonna touch Imperm, we're not gonna touch Valor, we're not gonna touch Call By, but then we hit a card one for one that could get hit. And I think it's likely. I actually think it's likely. One for one is a likely card that could get hit which would, the collateral damage, the next two decks that use it, Rescue Ace and Dragon Link, so what? Dragon Link's already a dead deck. Rescue Ace, when they get their new support, do they really need one for one for this? In fact, this could also be a pre-hit for Rescue Ace coming out. So it's like two birds, one stone, just the deck needs to be reduced a tiny bit. This would be similar to, they banned Instant Fusion because of Tier Limit. So banning one for one because of Snake Eyes, it makes so much sense. This is a really big prediction that that will actually happen. And then the less likely for, you know, remember we're going down the line, what can we hit? One for one, okay. Nibiru, we're not gonna hit. Jet Synchron just naturally combing through cards that we're allowed to hit if Konami was looking at the deck. It's weird, not everyone's playing it. I do think it's unlikely. So I'm gonna put it in the less likely. Jet Synchron. Jet Sync, less likely if hit. These are the more likely. 
And what else is there? There is, is there anything else? We already talked about Unicorn. I do think Unicorn could go to one, even though a lot of people are not playing. If I switch to tournaments, I think Unicorn goes up a little bit, still 60% not playing it. But, you know, that could be something that would be factored into why to hit Unicorn among the many other cards here. I think the extra deck is fine. There, there's no way something like Zelantis gets touched. You think Kurikara? I, I don't think it's even unlikely. N no, it's just not, not possible. No, I, I refuse to put this on, on even the unlikely to be hit. No, it will not be hit. All right, what else? What else? And, uh, you know, the reasoning for that, yeah, it's a lot better in Snake Eyes and other decks because it's searchable. But still, I, I just don't see... I No, no way. No freaking way. I it, This is a card similar to Nibiru, where I feel like they put a lot of effort into creating a card that multiple different decks could use, and no one's allowed to complain about it. You're not allowed to complain about Nibiru. I think it's a fair card, right? I think the majority of people would say it's fair. It's fair when it works, and... If I get Curry Karad, I, I'll just shake their hand. I'll just say, th you know, good job. You deserve it. it. It is something that you could play into, just like Nibiru, right? You could play into this. You could choose to, and people do talk about playing around it. So if you're thinking, who actually plays around this? People actually do, especially playing against Snake Eyes, uh, especially purely, for example, a deck that's not relevant, but will become relevant again soon. They don't want to summon EX purely nor then activate the effect of the Sleepy Memory to draw a card. A P we saw that in the tournament even, they chose to not draw because then Curry Kara would tribute over it. So they just leave it on the field, don't activate, leave it alone, it's unaffected from activate, and that's gonna be the way to play it when the deck comes back. Now, I think that is going to now put on us on over to what is my actual banless prediction? So to recap the less likely hits if hit, because I by default have them less likely to be hit if hit, none of these are on my banless prediction. But, you know, Konami's wild. It's something that I think they will consider. It will at least be on the whiteboard when discussing, possibly, maybe. They, like, you know, Bob, the intern, will be like, what about Brand Lost? That card's pretty good. And then he gets fired. But, you know, let's go to the likely cards. Ash. It can't can't happen, so it's not going to, but I think the next ban list, it definitely will. Is Merly a likely on the it, it's very difficult to do an actual prediction with unbans. So to if we're gonna start with the unbanning, let's actually look at cards that are limited. Let's do that. Anything that's limited too. Are any, I mean, sorting by popularity, these are the most used cards, so we should probably sort by the least popular semi limits. And I don't, it's going to be a lot of work to just put these onto the prediction, so uh, we'll just name them as we go by. I think Light Stage could get unbanned, of course. Uh, it's at three in TCG, no CG, expect it, uh, definitely. I think this would stay. Necroface will just stay. It's just, there's no reason. Dynamite will stay. Launcher just got unlimited, so we could expect this. So this is kind of a quick drive-by. We're not gonna really even put too much thought into it because it's pretty much just gonna be, if it's unbanned elsewhere, then it could. I think that this could be, some, this could be another way to help counter Snake Eyes. So I think it would be a good idea to at least, uh, yeah, yeah uh, maybe unlimit this. Sure, giving people an option, another option if they wanna play that. Uh, I, I think because the new purely is on the horizon of coming soon. Wink, wink, I'll let you know when. Maybe it's even within this pack or not, who knows? And uh, by the way, I do wanna say that my leaks for May, April and May pack should be contextualized around the fact that these two packs are propelling us into the World Champ Qualifier. So Konami is formulating what the meta will be over the next two packs, the next two big ones, of what will be playable in the world qualifier to go to worlds. And I could promise you this, I'm gonna just leak this within this random video. I promise you, prominently within the world qualifier decks for this year, players will be using prominently, so not all of them, but prominently, the decks that are qualifying for worlds will be using the April and the May pack, both, both packs are gonna be prominently be in the world qualifying decks. Yes, I, 
Hold me to it. That's a big leak. Okay, now continue on with this video. Fragrance, stay stay limited. Stay, get out of here. Trash, ain't no way. Uh, actually, uh, another thing that, uh, just thinking about toxic cards, summon limit. It's less likely, but it's something I do want Konami to have on their radar. I do think they should think about it. And you know what? I just remembered. The clock. <laughs> the, the clock, it's less likely, but they banned the clock for an event. So it's in discussion. They discussed it. They banned it for an event. They already banned this in an event. So it could happen. But it's less likely. But oh, ho, 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 if it happens, if it that would be crazy. Is the deck still good without it? Oh my gosh. Okay, and uh, we are still doing some unlimits here. <clears throat> Malicious. I think teleport to, uh, t should be unbanned. It should be. Even though it's semi-limited in OCG, which makes it less likely, I think it should be unbanned. Change of heart uh, should be unbanned. We are in a best of one format, and you just unlimited it in OCG. There's no reason to not unban it. The runic cards, you got to keep it. Starter's going to stay. Engage could get unbanned. It's already unbanned in OCG. What else? Reboot could get unbanned. I already leaked to you that Labyrinth is getting even better in the next pack. They're getting Arius, they're getting the Unchained. Some people play Unchained, a lot of them top tournaments with Unchained. So I think we uh, should have the ability to play three red reboot if we want to. Why not? We don't have side deck. I think the adventure cards will, will stay. I don't think that will uh, be unhit. Raigeki could get unbanned. I do think so. I think Japan probably told TCG to unban this. I don't think that was even their choice. They probably just did that. Uh, <laughs> Parallel Exceed, this just happened. Uh, that's it for the semi limits. So about limit to one. I mean, this makes the video a lot longer. What else? Uh, limit to one, limit to one. Uh, yada, gateway, anything in here that should get further unlimited. Uh, oh, uh, t speaking of bans, while it's on my head, Heavy Storm. Heavy Storm is going to get unbanned. Likely, likely. It is at one in OCG. So think of ways where this would synergize with your deck if your cards want to be destroyed. I, I don't have anything on the top of my head, but uh, maybe this would be good. Why is Harpy Feather Duster allowed? But this isn't. The difference is it also destroys your cards. So what what happens? The Ib, Ib Synchro be unbanned? Yeah, Ib also unchained. Okay. Ib will uh, be banned, unbanned. I do think that's something that will get unbanned, likely. Ib the World Chalice, just a car, just a Shiar. It is already semi-limited in OCG, that's something. And uh, now we're bouncing around, we're bouncing around. Anything from Limit 1s, let's keep on going. Limit 1s, Limit 1s. I, I don't, I, I think it's unlikely, but uh, let's lead the charge. We do do that sometimes. Monster Reborn semi-limit, why not? Who's gonna abuse that? Uh, it Actually, Snake Eye players are playing it because they're able to reborn from the opponent's graveyard uh, anything that would synergize with the deck, which is pretty much anything. That's now a combo starter in the mirror match also, and disruption in a way. It's pretty cool. What else, what else, what else? Uh, the the frog, uh, maybe that that's outdated. Maybe the beaver can come back, like really? The beaver, why is the beaver and the frog also hit is Sprite, are we really afraid that, uh, that much afraid of Sprite? I think those were early hits and then we further hit Sprite afterward. I would like them to see ban one for one. Uh, there could only be one, but probably not gonna happen. I think that the Flandries map could get semi-limited or unbanned and Empen. What is going on here? <laughs> what's, what's going on? Okay, I, I am a Fluandries enjoyer. I know that's controversial to say. I think that this is even a good deck for people to, I, I think this deck, unironically, if you learn how to play the deck yourself, you just get better at Yu-Gi-Oh as a whole. You learn uh, the trigger priorities on a non-turn player, turn player. You learn some crazy things like using the Fluandries on summon, target a card, banish a card, and chain linking the triggers in the correct order where you could, in response to, let's say, a Sharon activating, you could then summon Rabina, then resolve, summon the one that would then banish, then they, them being the turn player would activate the fusion monster in the grave, then you non-turn player would activate the bird that targets the monster that's activating to fuse. It could get quite complicated, but that's a good thing. And I just think it's also a good cheap deck for people to play. Anyway, we have uh, uh, please ban goes and not gonna happen. We already talked about skill drain. The uh, drones, I guess, is too techable on multiple decks. I think it's maybe too early to unban or unlimit the sprite. Cancel me? No, please don't. We're good. We uh, gold sark. I feel like could we lead the charge on gold sark and monster reborn? 
Monster Reborn, semi-limited. And what about Gold Sark? Is this really a big deal? I guess it's a, while Branded Despia is too relevant right now, maybe we can't, it in a way is a combo starter, banish the tragedy, grab an Alibur. But I, I would want it to be semi-limited or unlimited because of Thunder Dragon uh, for them. So can we write that only works with Thunder Dragons maybe? And what else? I, I don't think they'll be untouched any of these. I think the Mudora, the Ashizu cards will continue to be hit. Let's see for Forbidden, Forbidden. The Forbidden ones. We already talked about a few Forbidden. We talked about Heavy Storm. We talked about Ib. The, no, this stays. This stays. Can we unlock the Shock? Is this really that big of a deal? It, I, I played with and against this back in my day about 10 freaking years ago. Three level fours and uh, there's so much that disrupts it, right? To even get three level fours, I'm thinking an Ash Blossom would even stop this from being summoned, right? Uh, very likely you're summoning or searching from the deck to get that three level fours. What do you think, Gia? Do we unlock the shock? Unlock the shock! The shock has been unlocked in Master Duel. The Rongo stay banned. Is Halk okay to come back, but then ban Aurorodon? Maybe. Maybe we could do a trade. We trade Halk for Aurorodon. We trade Merli for Kikalos. We do a double trade. Maybe. I, I feel like this could come back. Am I crazy for saying that? I, I did leak Armored Xyz, which helps out shark decks and shark decks could play totally awesome, right? So that would be cool where sharks are a good and much more playable deck and with the Armored Xyz cards using Totally Awesome. I've seen some combos where they could Baha Munch Shark, get the Totally Awesome on the fifth summon, so they, now we have anti-Nibiru, and then they start cooking with the Armored Xyz plays. That's good. Uh, keep Stein banned. Keep that banned forever. The, uh, what else is good here? Snatch Steel can get unbanned. Yep, definitely could get unbanned. Definitely. Terraforming is just dead. It's dead because they keep on making new decks that work with the field spell. Field spells now became combo starters, so terraforming is going to stay banned. Tenpai is coming somewhere in the future, and the Tenpai field spell is broken. And then they just announced the gimmick field spell. One field spell is a first turn kill, so we extra can't have terraforming ever come back. Uh, instant fusion, I guess, would stay banned. I, I get maybe that would be a trade with Kikalos actually. And Block Dragon stays banned. It's a lot of banned cards here that are just not going to be touched. Is it time to bring back Celestial? I don't know. Maybe it's too early. Is there really a fear that everyone's going to go back to playing DPE just because Celestial's back in the meta? I, I think in the TCG meta, they have it fully unlimited and people don't really care. I think this has been power crept. It's just not even relevant anymore, right? What do you think? Yeah, bring it back. Bring back the titties. I think so. And uh, what up? Dragoon is a trade with Anaconda. We ban Anaconda, we unban Dragoon. That's the trade. We have to do a trade. We can't leave both. We have to trade. And uh, let's do another page. Cannon Soldier. Cyberjar. Cyberjar could come back. It's already uh, limited to one TCG. Flip effects, come on. Uh, not a big deal here. Uh, maybe we would use it as a turn two card with some deck that flips cards face up. Who knows what that is? You set Cyberjar, flip it up with some effect, and then just wipe out the opponent's fields. But, but then it, it even it destroys. It's not like it non-target returns them back in the deck. It's destroy. And a lot of things have anti-destroy. Mystic Mind stay banned. What else? Okay, that, that's it for the bans and unbans. And then, wow, this video is now ridiculously long for uh, actual hits. I'm going to put one for one. One for one, one for one is here, yep. One for one is likely to get banned. What else is likely to get banned? I feel Unicorn is likely. I feel like it is. I feel like Unicorn, I, I just feel it. I feel like it's likely on the ban list, likely. And what else is likely? I think Big Welcome is likely. I think it's likely on here. Big Welcome, likely. And I think I would actually stop there. And a lot of you would be like, wow, that's really underwhelming. All that just to hit three cards. Well, the unlimits are also, they're gonna fluff us up with unlimits and ready. I'm gonna show you why this is a correct prediction. Because last year, last year, get ready for this. I, I'm gonna back this up. That's why I wanted to do likely unlikely and uh, look at some other cards. If we go back to last year in March, this was the ban list. 
our ban list we're getting is competing with this one. And oh my God, this has almost 500 comments. It must have been a controversial ban list. We scroll on down, the ban list was pretty much just hitting the runic cards. The necroface was kind of weird. They unlimited the hawks. So that was an unlimit. These are all unlimit. So like, this is fluff. Fluff across the board, fluff. And then, you know, this was a weird situation. The floodgates are pretty much together. So this is like one hit. And then the runic cards is one hit. The Necroface is like a weird extra hit. The Herald of Orange Light should have been pre-banned. This was a mistake that they did not hit this early. And uh, wait, I think this, no, this was a pre-hit. This was pre-hit for Tier Limit coming. Tier Limit didn't come out yet. So this was a pre-hit, doesn't really count a pre-hit. And then uh, this was kind of weird. So it, this, this ban list is pretty much only four hits. And then I'm predicting three hits. So like four versus three hits. It kind of uh, lines up and in addition to all the cards that we said could get unlimited. So there you go. This is what is my prediction plus uh, some of the unlimits which are a bit unpredictable. These are the unlikely if they were to get hit and then these are the likely if they were to get hit. But again, Snake Eyes can't get hit beyond one for one because it's still in the shop. And there you go. A really long banless prediction. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And uh, there you go. An actual prediction of just these three cards. Let's go.